Hello YouTube. Um, so uh, this is going to be a vlog and I haven't made one in a little while so uh, this one is going to be a cigar and whiskey vlog. Okay so here's the cigar. This is the whiskey. I've got it in a calf killer brewery glass that I got from one of the karaoke, local karaoke contests that we had down at Woolies uh, Clubhouse a few months ago. Um, this is going to be just a rambly kind of thing, I think. But there's quite a few little updates I wanted to give you. So we'll call this the Cigar Whiskey Ramble blog, Vlog. <laughs> and as you can tell, um, this is not my first of the of the day. So this will not be posted on Facebook. This is a YouTube exclusive, so it's only for my folks who actually come to my YouTube channel and subscribe or catch me somehow uh, through that. But uh, I still, you know, I, I, as an ex-pastor, I still have a lot of friends on YouTube that I, I don't want to offend them. I don't want to make them upset. So uh, I don't post everything on Facebook. I do more stuff here than I do on Facebook. But uh, so if you if you're watching this, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe like if you want, if you want to see more of what I'm doing. This has actually become mostly a music channel for me. And that's because uh, that has become my biggest passion since, uh, since about April of, uh, of this year. I think my last vlog was I'm divorced or I'm getting a divorce, one of those things. And uh, since then, I've got a few updates. And for this to be a cigar vlog, I have to be smoking a cigar. So, cigar whiskey rambling vlog. <laughs> Forever, I, I wanted to call them vlogs. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, so anyway, okay. A few things I want to get to that I want to talk about. First of all, I am in the process of doing a project that will end up being my first and only, uh, maybe not only, but my first definitely, uh, solo album. And that's because I've been writing a lot of songs lately, original songs, and some of them you've already seen here on YouTube, if you follow me. Um, Broke Into is one of them that I recently wrote. Uh, Karaoke Blues, which was, it was really cool because uh, uh, Marty Pittman played it at the karaoke uh, bar for me that, that very next night that I came in. He played the video for everybody and I got a big round of applause. That was cool. So uh, thanks to to Marty and to Nowhere Bar and Grill. And uh, yeah, it, it, I still am having a lot of fun with, with karaoke. Um, but I'm writing these songs and um, I've got a total right now of seven original songs. Now you haven't seen them all here on YouTube yet because I haven't made the videos for them all yet. And a couple of them I'm just finishing up. One of them I have a video made and it was uh, um, done through a new system that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and, and flip cameras and I'm going to show you my new setup for recording audio because this is going to affect the, the future of my videos, my music videos that I put on this uh, website. So let's, let's flip it around here and see. Okay, so this is what I've been using uh, to make my last couple of uh, audio recordings for my songs. And what I plan on, and I didn't get to this yet, but uh, what I plan on doing throughout this whole solo album that I'm working on actually 
But this is a, a fairly inexpensive thing. I, I found a YouTube video, how to set up a, your own home recording studio for less than $300. I bought this little dealio. This is a Focusrite Scarlet Solo. It's got a mic input, as you can see. It's got instrument input. That's the headphones there. And uh, that's what I've been using. So in future videos, you're gonna see it'll have that kind of audio. Um, and I've run into some issues so far with being able to like get different shots of the video and sync it into that audio. Uh, so uh, I'm working on that still. Anything you, you see is basically a one take all the way through because I'm, ha I'm not good enough at editing to splice in and, and make new things happen especially with uh, instruments and stuff because they, you know, my guitars ring, so it's hard to splice something in and make it sound the same. But anyway, um, that's something new. I'm, I'm, I'm working on an album and I'm using the Focusrite Scarlet Solo to do that. Now this is of course an uh, amateur thing. I'm no professional by any means but I'm gonna to put together an album. And the title of the album was, uh, a friend of mine helped me come up with it. And it's gonna be therapy. And it may be called grief therapy, possibly. Uh, because that's, that's what's going on with a lot of these songs I'm writing. All of the songs I've written lately are uh, a type of therapy, self-therapy that I'm going through. And uh, as I mentioned briefly earlier, you know, I'm still dealing with my divorce and uh, it's been really rough for me, to be honest. Um, at first I thought, you know, I'm gonna get through this no problem. I've been through this before. I've, so this was my second marriage that just ended. Uh, but my first marriage only lasted less than three years. This marriage lasted almost 24 years. We were together 20, right at 25 years. So I don't know that I'll ever get over this. And uh, I, what I'm doing by writing this music, it's been very therapeutic for me. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this whole collection of songs that I'm gonna put together therapy, grief therapy maybe. Um, I got to sitting around the other day and kind of thinking about the songs that I had already written. And uh, I realized that I could categorize each one of them into one of the five stages of grief uh, that people go through. So I'm gonna put them in that order <laughs> when it comes to, uh, to making an album. Right now, as I said, I've got seven. There's not that many posted on YouTube just yet but I'm, I'm gonna work on the rest of them. Um, I've got a fellow that's, that's helping me in Atlanta. Um, he's a good friend of mine and he's helping me master and work on this new stuff since I got the focus right. Uh, so that I think I'm gonna have some much better quality recordings, at least audio wise uh, for you in the near future. Video, I'm still using my cell phone. So it is what it is, but uh, I'd like to eventually upgrade that as well. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? The band that I'm playing with, I think I can officially say now I'm a member of this band and it's, the name of the band is Wildly Ablaze. That's all one word. Sometimes we have to put little hyphens in between Wildly hyphen a hyphen blaze but wildly ablaze that's the name of the band it's a five-piece band i am mainly doing the role of acoustic guitar and harmonica for these guys and i'll probably be working sound a little bit for them too because i'm not in every single song just yet and may never be in every single song because my main instrument really is acoustic and uh and they love to hear me doing the harmonica. I've been really getting into the harmonica more lately. Um, I don't know if, I, I think I did maybe show you this when I did my, this was a, that might've been a Facebook thing. I don't know if I've revealed these on, on YouTube. 
and I just I just opened up all the wrong way. Okay, but anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> this is my messed up case now. So I've got a set of harmonicas that I got. Um, and I've been practicing quite a bit more with them. I've been playing with uh, Wildly Ablaze with them quite a bit. And I love it. it it's, it's the only instrument I've ever played that really kind of, with the exception of the Native American flute, which kind of comes naturally. But the harmonicas kind of come naturally to me. But I still do have a lot to learn when it comes to harmonica. So, but I can halfway do like a, a what I would call a rhythm harmonica, just uh, instinctively, I guess you'd say, or, or uh, improv. You know, is basically all I do. Um, but I, as I say, there's a lot to learn with the harmonica. It's it's a neat instrument. Um, for me, I need quite a few. I have heard people say you can play everything in a C. I don't know about that. Maybe that's true because they're all, all the notes are there. You just got to learn where they're at well enough, but I need a bunch. <laughs> I need as many as I can get. I kind of like to have one of those holsters. You know how the Blues Traveler dude had the gun uh, bullet holsters, you know, with harmonicas? I'd love to have something like that. It'd be awesome. Um, I've played a couple of times down at Red Silo at their Blues Jam. Uh, just, just a fun thing to do. But yeah, be on the lookout for some some up and coming songs on the channel here. I've got one right now. I'm kind of holding that's actually ready, but I haven't made it public yet. Uh, and I may end up having to redo the video portion of it. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully not, because I kind of like the way it, it came out. Um, okay, so the album, the band, band is getting gigs. We we have done a car show so far, and uh, then three of the five of us went down and did a show in Gainesboro not long ago that was just an acoustic uh, short show, and. Um, then we're going to do the full show November 1st. So we've got another gig lined up. We actually have one that was canceled for rain because it was an outside show. Uh, but we are starting to get some, some bookings and that's really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm having a blast with that. That is, uh, you know, being in a band and being a, you know, just doing the music thing has been a big dream of mine for since I was probably 10 years old or younger. I started playing guitar when I was about eight. So somewhere in there, I started wanting to be, you know, in a band and, and be a musician and be a singer. Um, now, that being said, I realize I'm not the greatest singer or musician. Uh, and I, you know, I mean, I don't have a record label backing me up. I'm doing all this on YouTube. I'm doing it all by myself. That's fine. You know what? The title of that album I'm making, Therapy. That's what this is for me right now. Okay, so this is going to be a splice and kind of near the end of this video. Uh, there was one thing I forgot to do that I wanted to, to do uh, for this vlog, and that is show you the guitars I'm using right now. So, I started out um, around April, May, somewhere in there. I bought a Takamini acoustic, which was really nice and I liked it. And it's in some of my previous videos. Uh, only thing about it was a couple months in, the electronics started not working at all. I'd plug it in and it would just, ah, you know, it, it was just shot. And so I uh, was able to, it was under warranty, so I was able to send it back to Sweetwater. I did it all through Sweetwater.com, which I highly recommend, by the way. I like them. That's where I got my harmonicas from and everything. Uh, and I got the Takamini. And then what I ended up doing, because the guys in Wildly Ablaze talked me into this, uh, they said, man, you need to get an electric guitar. You're wanting to play with us. You really need an electric guitar, you know. And uh, so get you a good one. Get you a good electric. Okay. 
So instead of getting a replacement Takamini, what I ended up doing was getting a Les Paul. And I want to show you, I want to show you the guitars I'm using right now. So this is my Les Paul. It's an Epiphone Les Paul. I know guitar guys, it's not a Gibson. It's an Epiphone Les Paul, but I really like this guitar. And I did trade it. Uh, I don't think I had to give much, maybe just a little bit extra because I got a hard shell case for it too. Uh, but it's a nice guitar. It's definitely by far the best electric I've ever had. This is also in some of my recent videos. Uh, so whenever I'm playing electric guitar, it's, it's the Les Paul. And uh, the first guitar that I bought after the event, we'll say, I'm going to go grab it off the wall back here. I bought this one locally in a music store here. Crossroads Music. Really nice uh, place to, to go and hang out. They give music lessons. This is terribly out of tune. But this is a 12 string and it's also in a, uh, uh, at least one or two of my videos. And this is a Tim Armstrong Fender Hellcat. And what sold me on this one, I kind of wanted 12 string because I'd never had one. Uh, as I said, this was the first new guitar I bought uh, when I started messing around again and getting really serious. But uh, the thing that sold me was the inlays here. And let me, let me see if I can get this up close. So the 12th fret has two skulls on it. Let me turn it around. And then all the other ones have, uh, that's a hunched over cat. Yeah, see? So uh, Tim Armstrong is a musician who, quite honestly, I'm not real familiar with. I, I apologize, Tim Armstrong, if you see this. But you, you designed a heck of a guitar. I really like this guitar. Uh, I don't know. I think I may have already made a couple of videos with this one as well. I know I have in the past. I think I may have made a couple of recent ones as well. Um, but this is my Ovation Celebrity. This is an old guitar. It's 30 years old. Uh, you may not be able to see it from the video here, but it's, it's well worn. It's got some damage. There's some cracks in the body down in here. Even, uh, let's see, where else? I've seen some more ones. Yeah, right here. We got some, not cracks, but yeah, they are cracks. They're just not like big cracks. They're not wide or anything. But uh, this guitar has been through hell, let me tell you. I had this guitar all through my kids growing up and had a hard shell case and everything, but occasionally it would end up laying on the floor or something and the kids would just walk over. They didn't care. They'd sit on it, they'd walk on it. It went to my daughter for a while because she got interested in guitars and she had it for several years. Um, and she recently moved into a place where she could, she just really don't have room for it. So I took it back. I'm playing. This is my main acoustic right now. Um, so I've actually got the Tim Armstrong strap. This this came with the Tim Armstrong guitar. This strap. It says, uh, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." But it's got. It's a pretty cool strap. Uh, so I put it on this one. And as I said, this is the one I've been playing uh, mainly. Here later. Still sounds good. I put some brand new elixir strings on it, so she's sounding good. And I did have to have some work done on it because the pickup wasn't working, but got it all working now. I can plug her in. She's sounding just as good as she ever did. 30 years old. Mwah! That one is like a family heirloom to me. Uh, my grandma and grandpa actually bought this for me a uh, long time ago.
so all right that was a longer edition than I meant for it to be. But um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I need to get at least 100 subscribers. I'm up to 61 right now. So if you can help me get to 100, I'd be tickled to death because that would give me the ability to do live broadcast through my phone. I can do a live through the website on my web browser and use my webcam, but I can't do it through the phone right now, which you're going to get a whole lot better picture through the phone. So help me out. Help me get to a hundred subscribers. Um, that would be greatly appreciated, but like the video comment, say anything you want. I'm, uh, I'm always here to, to chat back. I, I see every comment and I usually reply. So thank you again for watching. Y'all take care. I'll see you next time.